kind of goes along with all the industries we've lost uh, is transportation. Um, it's very difficult to get here uh, to Yarmouth, um, and uh, I don't know if that's by design or whatever, but it used to be really easy. We used to have, you know, planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, I think that if that airport, our airport were to um, be functioning again and as well as basically as a commercial airport in, instead of just this private thing that, you know, just for private jets that come, um, you'll see more people coming because it's easier to, to come. It's, it's sort of like everything dovetails. Mm -hmm. So without an airport, you don't have a, a big company's not going to want to come in. Um, yeah, without uh, transportation, for example, uh, King's Transit would be a wonderful addition, and I'm, I've been a proponent of that. I don't know why we can't have King's Transit come from Weymouth and have another leg to Yarmouth, mm -hmm. um, because it's economical. It's only $3. We also need to look at the, under, the other end of the spectrum, which is um, they had, and I assume it's still in place, that entrepreneurial program where um, people are encouraged to come in with a lot of money and start a business here. And um, they, you know, but they need to know that their business is going to be successful. So, for example, um, I know some people that did that, uh, and um, that live in uh, Wedgeboard and, and other places. Uh, Argyle and whatever, um, but again, I think it still goes back to these entrepreneurs are not going to come in and bring their money and start a business if they know that there's not a, for example, um, an airport that's local where they can they know that people are going to be able to come and go, um, and then also a uh, consistent um, customer base that they would have that's not just seasonal. So a lot of these, you know, B and Bs and things, people I, I know, people that came and you know bought a place in Argyle, and um, they struggle in the winter uh, because there's not um, as many people to use, you know, their inn um, and go to the restaurant and that type of thing. So um, I think we need to look more deeply into being a year-round town and not just a seasonal town. Mm -hmm. And again, it all goes back to having things here where uh, people are going to um, be willing to invest um, a bunch of money into businesses and things like that. And they're not going to do that because there's a, a threshold until there's, there's got to be like a critical mass of enough people here where they say, okay, well, I'm going to make money at this. And if there's not, then there's, they're just going to say, well, I'm not going to invest in you know, restaurant or a, or a hotel or whatever they want to do because there's not enough to support it. Um, and again, I think it goes back to the transportation. We we used to be vibrant. We used to be, you know, just this, this town used to be nuts. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen the videos and the pictures and we've lost so many people because we lost industry. So um, without an airport and buses, planes, trains, and automobiles, you're not going to have the people to come because mm -hmm. they want to be able to get in and out and travel. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, okay, well, I'm not going to, I'll move to Halifax because I could just hop on a plane and go visit grandma or, you know, mom or, you know, their son. Whereas they were like, well, I'm not going to move to Yarmouth because then I have to drive four and a half hours to get to an airport just to hop over and see, you know, whatever. And so 